Hi guys and welcome back to Jay Carmel's Kitchen. You know I'm already excited because, look at this. I already opened the packet because we had to do a double take, but that's neither here nor there. All right, but we made, we're making some egg rolls, some strawberry cheesecake egg rolls, and I can't wait to try this. Right now, when you look on the internet with egg rolls, they have so many desserts. I've seen peach cobbler, the strawberry cheesecake, and so many other ones and i was like what the heck you know let's just try it and see how this comes out i can't wait all right so let's get started and we're gonna start with the cream cheese frosting first so you're gonna add eight ounces of cream cheese and make sure you mix that until it becomes a little soft Okay, so with my cream cheese frosting, what I'm gonna do is sit it in the freezer for at least like 10 to 15 minutes so it could get a little hard. I did do a trial run of this before and I did not put it in the refrigerator and the cream cheese kind of like melted inside the egg roll. It was still super delicious, but I wanna see how it's gonna work when we put it in the freezer to make sure it just hardens a little bit, okay? Okay, so it's been about 10 to 15 minutes and she's chilled and good to go. So we're just gonna put this to the side because now we have to assemble the actual egg roll. Side note, please make sure you put your oil on for, I won't say medium, just a tad bit lower than medium because we don't want any burned egg rolls, okay? So let me show you exactly what these look like. They literally look like flattened paper and they're super dry. So you wanna make sure you have a damp paper towel. Okay, I just damped it, made sure I squeezed it out and then put it here, okay? We're gonna place the egg roll wrapper right on top of the damp paper towel, all right? So I'm just gonna get a small scoop of the cream cheese frosting and it doesn't take a lot, just a little bit. I would say like a, a spoon and a half, okay? Because when these are really jam packed, it could like break open and we don't want that. We wanna have a perfect egg roll. And then I'm gonna add some strawberries in there, okay? Just a little bit. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna have another paper towel and make sure you just damp the edges, all right? This is the not so tricky part. And then let's do it on the edges a little bit, just to be safe. Okay, so you're gonna get the sides, it's getting stuck to the paper, the two sides. You're gonna wrap it in inward like this, okay? And then you are going to tuck right underneath all right and then you're just gonna roll it like so okay and then you have your egg roll let's try it again okay okay damp the edges uh oh I'm gonna put it a little closer to me because I felt like it was too far when I did the tuck and roll. I wanna make sure these are secure because the trial run was a sweet disaster. <laughs> Get it? Sweet disaster. Okay. 
So let me try it this time. I'm going to tuck it. I'm going to put the sides in. Then I'm going to roll it. Voila. Ha, ha, ha. I like that one better. All right. Okay, so now that I have all six of these complete, you can see where I kind of got lazy with it. Got a little bigger on that one. Make sure we keep it tight. Really tight and secure. Okay? See all of them? Yes. Now we're about to add it to the oil. Okay, so now my oil is ready. A simple technique that I do to make sure she's ready is I put a little water on my fingertips and I just go like this. Okay, so make sure, like I said, lower, a little lower than medium because trial run. I'm going to keep saying trial run because it was a trial run. We got to look. It was flaring all over the place. All right. So just make sure you have some tongs so you're not burning yourself. You're going to add each egg roll to the pot. And look at that gorgeous it's going at a smooth pace and you just want to make sure you keep your eye on it until it turns golden brown because we're gonna have to flip them over these two that's just a little bit thicker um but every other one is dropped all the way in so let's just watch it i love the way this is coming out because this didn't happen last time so just another key point you want to make sure you have enough oil in there that the egg rolls go under last time when we did the trial run it was just a little bit lower and we had to flip them but right now the oil is doing the work for you when it cooks right on another side it's like doing a little dance and flipping over as you see one of them right here is opening i was running out of little water so you want to make sure they're damp and it really is secure okay now last time i left each of them inside for when I did the flip probably like two minutes on each side so I'm just gonna wait one more minute and then I'm gonna take them out okay so now we're gonna check one it looks like a bloody mess in here Jesus but look how pretty it is though what you think should I put it in a little longer mm, no okay I'm gonna put it to the cooling rack Move it over. Okay, look at this. I'm so excited. Look at her. Look, some juice is coming out. Honestly, I don't know how to get rid of when holes happen i have little baby nails so the holes i gotta look that up to see why that happens but look at it it's nice golden brown time out just a disclaimer so we know and maybe sharia put this at the beginning of the video a disclaimer for this video one make sure you have a lot of oil in your pot so that the egg rolls are completely covered two make sure the oil flips it for you, right? Three, make sure we tuck, tuck, flip tightly. And also, what, number four, it also suggests at least three tablespoons with the strawberries and the cream cheese. Mine was probably about two tablespoons and then I had my big girl status on and I added more and that's where they kind of expanded and opened up. So you want to make sure you only have three tablespoons in this egg roll so you could close it really tight that's the disclaimers only four of them and four is my favorite number so this is heaven on earth okay so look at this all right so i just put it on a tray you can put it on a paper towel and let the oil soak it up but they're all good and to go 
we are going to cut one of these bad boys open so we can see what the inside looks like. Let's see. That wasn't a clean cut. I wanted a clean cut. Look at this. You can see the cream cheese in the inside and oh my god it smells so good it smells so good i want to okay forget it i'm tired of talking cream cheese with that strawberry tastes so good mind you you see i have my whipped cream over here i don't even need it but i'm going to use it on the next piece the crunch the cream cheese with the cream cheese going into the freezer for 15 minutes it helped a little bit but not a hundred percent but it was still in there tucked nice and neat it did melt a little bit as you can see but i wanted it to be like firm firm but it was still no trouble. Like it still tastes amazing. And then let's see, let's add whipped cream on there. Oh my God. Bye. Oh, I'm just kidding. This is so good. Please, I want you guys to try this and please let me know how much you liked it. I absolutely loved it. Like I said, the crunch, the strawberry, and everything it's perfect it's crisp look at this egg roll it is everything so and then also you know what you guys let me do it right for you get you some little powder sugar sprinkle it over that boy like that mm. right then i'm gonna add some extra strawberries on the little plate Make it cute. I was supposed to do this at the beginning, but I was just too excited. And get you a little whip going. And do this right here. Okay. At this point, I'm teasing y'all. Just try this. It tastes so good. I love this. I love it. That's all I gotta say. Make sure you pay attention to the disclaimers so you can have the perfect cream cheese strawberry egg roll. I love you guys so much. Make sure you like, comment, and share, and I'll see you next week. Mm. Mm -mm -mm.